is our adoption story. So jumping just right into this, um, I think it's been five years now. Five years ago we made the choice to adopt three kids that were half our age. Um, mainly what led our interest in doing this, I mean obviously the kids needed, needed it, but the biggest factor that we faced was the fact that Seth and his dad were so close and watching him spend his retirement years draining his funds to take care of three children that again weren't his. So that was mainly what led us to do it. Um, Caden, Kyler, and Kelsey currently um, are now Kyler is 16, Kelsey is 15, and Caden is 13. So I'm 24 and my husband's 26, 27, I don't know, whatever, are taking care of kids that are half of our age. And if that weren't enough, um, their mother is currently in their lives, which is a choice that we chose to make together. I think the kids, when they came into our lives, were already who they were going to be and are old enough to make choices for themselves. So I think Seth and I both sat down and decided that telling them that they couldn't see their mother just wasn't going to be what's best for them or for us. Oh, yeah. um, I think we already have to be the bad guys on a regular basis. Do your homework, clean your room, blah, blah, blah. I didn't want to be the one that was like, you can't have a relationship with your mother because we said so. Because that sucks. Um, so after we adopted the kids, um, I had never even met their mother. I hadn't met her for, I think it was a good two years after of having them. I mean, I was staying home full time with the kids, doing dinner every night and the whole works. And it was two years before I had met her. Um, she had gotten out of jail and She's a part of the family, obviously, and we get together every month with our family to visit. Uh, we have, like, family dinners every month, so I don't actually remember the first time meeting her, but immediately I liked her. She's very, she's a very easy person to like. I just don't agree with her choices. Um, so, as I was saying, um... After we had taken the kids and adjusted to our new lives and the daily struggles with parenting, um, we adjusted well and we had figured out a plan and we had worked on our relationships with the kids and I'd say we formed a pretty good bond between all of them. Um, and then we had to readjust again when their mother came back into the picture, which I don't want anybody to think that that was a negative thing for us. I mean, we've had a lot of struggles with it and still do and probably will continue, but as a whole, I love my kids. Um, and I, I want them to have a good relationship with their mother. I, I want them to be able to go to her and talk to her. It's just, it's not always as easy as that, especially considering it's not like I'm their mother and I want them to have a good relationship with their father. I'm their aunt. I'm not their mom. I'll never be their mom. They don't consider me their mom. Um, I'm M and I need to be okay with it and that's part of some of the things that we've worked on and some of the things I personally have struggled with. Um, when we first had talked about adopting the kids and taking care of them, I think we were really naive. We thought like, oh, we're going to take these kids and they're going to love us and yeah, it'll be difficult financially and it'll take a lot of getting used to, but we can form this great bond and, and they'll be our kids and they'll call us mom and dad and, and like it was this fairy tale thing, which it wasn't at all. Um, DHS isn't pretty to work with. and. I mean, what what did we expect? We were adopting a 13-year-old and a 12-year-old and a 9-year-old. Like, you don't just spend a few years and then get to be mom and dad. It just doesn't work that way.
think in the first place we were really naive as to what reality was going to be. Um, but his dad did make things easier for us. His dad had um, temporary guardianship or fostering the children before we were in the picture. Um, instead of us having to find a house, hold on. Instead of us having to find a house that was big enough for the kids and go through the process of buying it and moving and doing all of that, please stop. Why you um, His dad moved out of his house where the kids were already at, and we moved in and started the process of buying it. So we paid his dad's rent on the house for like five months, I think, before it was official that we were the new owners. Well, we were, I mean, Seth was, because we weren't married at the time. Um, so we bought the house and started the process of adopting the kids officially, which it wasn't, dealing with DHS wasn't fun, and it sucked, but it wasn't like the worst thing in the world, and we got to skip a lot of the steps simply because we were taking in our family members. Um, anybody who knows anything about fostering or adopting kids from the foster care system knows that you have to, you can go through um, KidsNet, I think it is, and you do PS map classes. It teaches you like parenting and the things that the kids have gone through and maybe behaviorals and stuff like that. And then you get a home study and sorry if my order is wrong, but you do all these things. I don't know exact order. But you do the classes, and you do a home, home study, which is where somebody comes in, and they just ask you questions about how you've been raised, how you'd like to raise kids. They look at your house and make sure everyone has adequate room and closets and um, proper windows for a fire escape, uh, alarms, uh, fire extinguisher, things like that. And then you have to do the attorneys and set the court date for the adoption hearing. And all of this could take like between three and like seven months, I believe. Ours took about five, I want to say. I think it was about five months. And adoption day wasn't even spectacular, I guess. It, it should have been, but it really wasn't. Um, our three adopted kids are three of a total of nine children now. So when we adopted them, the other two other of the children were also mm -hmm. being placed with their father. So we all got together at the courthouse at the same time, and the judge asked if we were really ready to do it and we said yes of course and the kids actually got the option to change their names if they wanted um Kaden uh the middle was the only one who decided to do that and he kept he kept his current last name and he added on Seth's last name so that was exciting, sort of. I guess he doesn't really use it anymore. He never does, but it was nice. It was cool. So, um, I guess if I had any advice to anybody who is out there dealing with DHS, uh -oh. so anybody dealing with DHS, these people are there to help you. So, Take the help that they offer, and don't take shit from any of them, either. Um, in our situation, Seth and I weren't married, and our plan was for him to be full-time, and I was going to stay at home with the kids until we were adjusted. And uh, we found out that we were pregnant the second week that we moved into the house. So the second week we moved in... The second week of taking care of the kids, boom, I'm pregnant. So that was crazy too, but that's not the point. Um, the point was that we knew that we were pregnant, and all these DHS workers were coming in and 
and talking to the kids and making sure they weren't being abused and making sure this is what they wanted and blah, 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 kept pushing us and pushing us. Oh, you guys need to get married. You need to get married. And we said, no, we, we don't feel any need to get married. There, I don't, I don't, I want to get married because I want to be married, not because DHS thinks I should. So at one point, a lady had told us that Seth wasn't going to adopt the children and that I should, and solely me, and that that's how it was going to happen, and basically said, this is what's going to happen, and you guys need to agree to it. And I said, no, look. This is how we're going to do things, and if that's not what this judge wants, then I guess we'll have to find a new judge. And it was like magic. As soon as I had stood my ground and I said, hey, this is not, this is not what we agreed on and this is what we are going to do, they backed off. And we're like, okay, I guess we can't push this one around. So stand your ground and just remember that there are good, there are good DHS workers and they, they do want to help. So take the help if they offer it.